Imagine a quiet night, suddenly shattered by a chilling discovery, the son of famed aviator Charles Lindbergh, gone from his crib. On the fateful night of March 1st, 1932, a mother's worst nightmare unfolded. 20-month-old Charles Lindbergh Jr., beloved child of Charles and Anne Lindbergh, was nowhere to be found. The silence of their home in Hopewell, New Jersey, was pierced by the alarming discovery of an empty crib and a ransom note demanding $50,000. The Lindberghs, paralyzed by fear and shock, immediately alerted the authorities. The New Jersey State Police took charge, the wheels of justice beginning to turn. In this terrifying void of the unknown, the Lindbergh family, known for their courage in the skies, were grounded by an earth-shattering reality. As the Lindbergh family and the nation grappled with the shocking news, a grim investigation was set into motion. With the passing of each minute, the hunt for the young Lindbergh child intensified. The New Jersey State Police, under the watchful eye of Charles Lindbergh himself, took charge of the investigation. They were soon joined by the Federal Bureau of Investigation as the case grew in complexity and scope. The puzzle pieces were scattered and elusive. A ransom note demanding $50,000, a makeshift ladder and a house full of potential suspects. Time was of the essence and every lead was pursued with a sense of urgency. The involvement of Dr. John F. Condon as a go-between in the ransom negotiations offered a glimmer of hope, but the search for the child continued. The negotiations led to an exchange at St. Raymond Cemetery in the Bronx, where a man named John handed over a note stating the child's location. But the boat near Martha's Vineyard, as mentioned in the note, was nowhere to be found. Then on a somber day in May, two months after the kidnapping, the worst was confirmed. The body of Charles Lindbergh Jr. was found, bringing a tragic end to the frantic search. The autopsy revealed that he had been killed by a blow to the head, a heartbreaking detail that sent shockwaves throughout the nation. While the nation mourned the tragic loss, a relentless pursuit of justice was underway. In September 1934, the long arm of the law closed in on a suspect, Bruno Richard Hauptmann. A German immigrant and carpenter by trade, Hauptmann was arrested, setting the stage for one of the most infamous trials of the early 20th century. The evidence against Hauptmann was compelling. Among the items presented at trial were the ransom note, written with a distinctive misspelling pattern that matched Hauptmann's own writing, and a ladder believed to have been used in the abduction that was suspiciously similar to one found at Hauptmann's residence. The trial court heard poignant testimony from the Lindberghs themselves, as well as from the ransom go-between, a man named John F. Condon. The jury, like the rest of the nation, hung on their every word. In the end, the prosecution's case proved too strong. Hauptmann was found guilty of first-degree murder and sentenced to death. His execution in 1936 marked the end of a tragic chapter in the annals of American crime. Justice, it seemed, had been served, but the echoes of the Lindbergh case would reverberate far beyond the courtroom. The Lindbergh case, etched in the annals of history, left an indelible mark on the American criminal justice system. The sheer magnitude of the crime involving the child of a national hero led to significant changes in law enforcement. The most notable was the passage of the Federal Kidnapping Act, commonly known as the Lindbergh Law. This legislation made kidnapping across state lines a federal crime punishable by death. An immediate consequence was the increased involvement of federal agencies in kidnapping cases, a trend that continues to this day. The case also ignited an enduring fascination, inspiring a plethora of books, movies and documentaries. Conspiracy theories still swirl around the case, fueled by the influence Charles Lindbergh had over the investigation and the media circus that surrounded Hauptmann's trial. The Lindbergh kidnapping is more than an infamous crime. It is a complex narrative of power, justice, and public fascination. The Lindbergh kidnapping, an infamous chapter in the annals of true crime, continues to captivate and intrigue, a chilling reminder of a crime that shocked a nation.